Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well today. So for today's video, I've got another Zara haul. I, this is probably one of my most favorite Zara hauls that I've done in a while. I've got two big boxes here to show you. I've already filmed the trial clip for this video, so I know exactly what I like. Um, just like the feel and look of them, I feel like it's better to film the trial clips first so I can kind of give you guys an idea of what they're like on and the feel of it and all things like that. So I have tried all these on and it's a pretty good haul, I have to say. It's a good haul. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So definitely watch if you're interested in some new, new in Zara. I'm pretty sure this was mainly all from the new in page. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from Zara recently. So Zara are doing like a ton of black, like little skirts, little skirts to wear in the autumn winter. Um, so I picked up a few in this haul. This particular skirt is actually my favorite. I love the way that it fits. Um, so my idea to wear with these black skirts is like an oversized knitted jumper, tights, knee high boots, or like chunky boots, a big um, like winter coat, a scarf. You know, that kind of thing. And I feel like also in the autumn winter, you can definitely dress up these skirts. I like this one because, like I said, it is a skirt, so it's short at the back. Really thick black material. I don't know if you're going to be able to see properly because it is, because of the colour of it. But um, it has like this kind of, a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a flap at the front that hangs a little further down um, than the short. So it has this interesting feature here, which I think looks really nice and adds a bit more to the school it's really thick really comfortable i'd say it's more like a mid rise rather than a high rise um but it's mainly going to be covered anyway like i said i want to wear them with oversized knits and knee high boots and stuff i just think it's a really i, I just imagine this at christmas time oversized knit jumper some red lipstick um, knee high boots that go into the theater or something that is our picture for this school it was 25.99 and i picked it up in a small and yeah i'm going to show you a few other schools but this one was definitely my favorite on um, I just liked the, it's like a really good length and it just seemed the best quality out of all the ones I picked up. So that was my favourite sculpt. And then, like I said, really want them kind of sculpt situation to wear with oversized knitted jumpers. So I picked up this jumper and I actually, did I get makeup on this? No. I actually placed this order and then whilst it was coming, I went to Primark and picked up some knitted jumpers that were really affordable, really soft. So in my head, I thought, okay, I'm going to take back them Zara ones because they're like double the price. But then I tried this one on and I don't know if it's going to look all that, but like, I just love it. It is so incredibly soft. Don't get me wrong. The ones I got from Primark were soft, but this is just like on another level and it just feels really heavy, like really thick. It's a kind of tight to the neck thick knitted jumper has these kind of drop sleeves which add to the oversized look and then also the sleeves they don't flare out a lot but they are kind of oversized and long and I just think on with like a fitted skirt I just loved it and I really didn't want to keep it because like I said I did buy a few from Primark but I feel like I'm just gonna have to keep it because well I am keeping it because I took the tag off I just love it I love the fit of it love the size of it I like that it has black stripes so it ties in really nicely with a lot of my all black outfits for autumn winter and yeah I just I loved it what can I say I got this in a small like I said it is oversized and it was $32.99 also just with like straight leg blue denim jeans and my mini Uggs like a cream coat it's just I've got to keep it I love it and then talking of a cream coat I did want to treat myself to a winter coat because I feel like every year I say I want to buy myself a nice winter coat and I just never do because I think a lot of the times they are that a little bit more of an investment um so I bought one from Zara and it was quite priced where's the oh i thought the tag had come off and i was like oh because i want to take this back this was 130 pounds so it was quite pricey but i really um i'm into like the cream looks so i'm usually like an all black wearer especially in the winter but i think now i've got them chestnut i said that weird chestnut mini uggs i just love like cream knit jumpers like that with blue denim so i really wanted an oversized good quality cream coat i do like this i just don't love it i think it's a little too oversized i picked it up in a small but i think it was just too oversized it just looked a bit too much um yeah i might maybe go, go in the shop and see if they have an extra small to try it on um it's a nice it's very heavy like i have to say it's very very heavy um really lovely color it's kind of like this woolly material but i almost feel like it's a little scratchy but on the website, they have a ton of cream coats at the minute. So I think I might just try a few others. They're all about the same price, really. There's already a black mark on it. Oh my gosh. I hope they accept that return. That's the only thing with a cream coat as well. I'm like, is this really practical? But 
yeah i just think with blue denim and the chestnut uggs it will just look really nice so i do want to pick one up but i just don't think this one i don't know it was just a little bit too oversized love how the cream buttons like make it look really seamless and classy fake pockets which is kind of annoying just very long oversized coat it's really hard to show but you're seeing the try on clip i do like it i just don't love it and i think for the price i definitely need to love it so i'm going to be returning this i'm trying to be a little bit kind of shorter and snappier in this haul hopefully you guys prefer that because i know when i watch hauls like i literally just want to see the clothes on and see if i want to order them or not so i'm trying to be a little bit shorter and snappier to show you what i picked up okay on to the next box we have another nude um jumper which again i was like gonna take that back got some from primark tried it on and i love this i do think it's a little different though so it is more of a kind of sweater rather than a knit but it's i don't even know how to explain this material it kind of gives me a knit feel it's like extremely soft very heavy um it's a round neck and it's oversized and it has this like stitching detail diagonally across the jumper and then the bottom of it i don't know if you call this asymmetric but you can see it kind of goes across diagonally so one side is longer um it's a nice oversized fit again has the drop shoulders oversized sleeves it's like the finish of the sleeves and everything is really cool i just i don't know how to explain this it's kind of like fleecy knit but also a bit more of like a sweater rather than a knit, knitted jumper I'm definitely going to keep this i love this on um i try it on with a little black skirt but that just it doesn't really suit it i think this is more to go with maybe blue denim straight jeans and uggs and like oversized cream coat when i get one um yeah absolutely love this i think it's really cool and different it's again 32.99 which i think is a little pricey but this one i can really justify for because i feel like this is really different and the quality feels amazing i picked it up in a small so it does come already um oversized and yeah i just love this one it's one of my favorite things that i picked up from the haul i'm really really happy with that like honestly the quality of a lot of this stuff is amazing like i think zara if you guys are a big shopper in zara like i am it's very hit and miss but the good quality stuff does feel amazing and another really good quality item which again i'm keeping because i love it's pretty simple it's just a high neck black knit jumper dress but just the way that this fits i have a black jumper dress which is a more affordable one i feel like it's maybe like nasty gal or something like that which i wore a lot last year with um tights and knee-high boots just like the perfect kind of christmasy december outfit but the quality and the fit is just nowhere like this so i'm going to justify keeping this and replace it with the cheap one i have if that makes sense but really really thick again the knit of this is so incredibly soft and heavy it feels amazing quality and the way that this just fits on like I, I find a lot with jumper dresses like they're either too long and make me look really frumpy or they're too fitted around the hips and just really unflattering I feel like it's hard to find a good jumper dress that just kind of hangs nicely it doesn't look too tight in too play in like too many places or too oversized it's just this is the perfect jumper dress and i think in autumn winter with like i said tights knee-high boots a big black oversized coat a scarf a hat like it's just such a nice wintry outfit and the quality feels amazing i love the like rib detail as well at the bottom i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see but the bottom kind of matches the neck of this ribbed kind of detail and yeah i love this so i got it in a small and it again was 32.99 they love 32.99 that's just like their go-to price i feel like i'm gonna keep this and replace like my one that's similar to this that's just not as great quality and doesn't fit as nicely so again really really happy with that i feel like this is just like a winter staple like in december for all the christmasy meals i'm just gonna rinse this jumper dress I'd definitely make it more dressy as well without tights and then like knee-high boots i think would look nice again something that i am in love with i've already taken off the tags and worn this it's just one of their slinky um what do you call these racer back racer neck um body suits i love these i wear them more in the summer but they had new colors and i love this gray shade i thought a bit better for autumn winter i could definitely layer up with this wear with like black side leg jeans some chunky trainers like an oversized leather jacket i just really love the gray kind of color of this it's like um I want to say a milky grey, which is definitely not a colour, but it just that's the kind of first word that comes into my head. The quality of these are amazing, like so soft on the skin. Yeah, like I said, I've already worn this. I wore this as more of like a lounge piece. I wore it with some oversized, like black straight leg kind of lounge trousers. And yeah, I just love it. Love the colour. And I have a ton of these anyway. I picked this up in a small. I picked up this like jersey material midi 
um, black skirt. It's very stretchy. It's not the thickest material. I feel like I'm not sure whether it's see-through or not. I couldn't really tell. I think I have to just see when I look back on the try on clips. But it's also hard because I use a ring light. So a lot of things do show up a little bit more see-through. Like through the ring light than they are in real life. Um, but I actually picked this up after seeing it in an outfit that this girl had worn on TikTok. She was wearing like a skirt like this. Um, some chunky trainers. A grey just plain tight t-shirt. And then a really oversized leather jacket. And I thought she looked really cool um as i know i can't decide to kicks or not because it's quite affordable it's 17.99 um so i feel like keeping it because i feel like maybe i would wear it but then also would i because i didn't feel amazing in it um yeah i don't know if this is something that you're looking for i definitely pick up i feel like for the price it's good quality and will look nice for different outfits i just don't know whether i'm going to actually get the wear out of this um midi skirt this one i'm kind of debating but i picked it up in a small like i said we have more of these like black sculpt kind of type things that i was looking for this one is a pleated one which this is literally my school skirt i mean not as it wasn't as short as this but it's literally my school skirt in a short version this i'm pretty sure this was actually low rise um i do like this skirt it is thick it's good quality and i do like the look of it on but i think it just it reminds me of school by a little bit too much and i definitely prefer the other black sculpt that i picked up so i'm not going to keep both um, but if you were looking for a pleated skirt i've seen quite a few of these on tiktok again with oversized kind of knitted jumpers tights and boots and um, this is a good option and i like that it's low rise as well also has obviously the shorts underneath so I'm not sure if you can see that but it has the shorts underneath so you do feel really secure in it even though it's a little bit shorter um but yeah just prefer the other school and it just it's a little bit too school girly for me um but i do like it and i picked up in a extra small and it was 29.99 so i'm gonna send this back but if you have been looking for a pleated skirt i feel like this is a good one to pick up and then again picked up another see i can't even make out what this is this is a skirt I don't even remember ordering this one. I know I did order a few, but I just think it looks different to the website. It's more of like a straight, just plain black skirt with two pleats in it. And then the back are shorts. I don't like these ones. I feel like the quality just isn't great. They're just not a nice, like soft quality. Kind of remind me again of like, almost like school trousers. They're just not very nice. Didn't think that they looked nice on. And the quality is just a little bit thinner than the other sculpts I picked up. Um, I picked up in an extra small for size reference from the try on clip and it was 29.99 but yeah I'm going to be sending this back I just don't think it's like the nicest quality and I don't know it just looks a bit nothingy on um, so wasn't the biggest fan of that school and that is all the school side I picked up then picked up these um, black high waisted wide leg trousers which I feel like I've been on a hunt for these sort of trousers for I don't even know like a year at this point to especially now i've got them the ultra mini uggs i see on tiktok all the time like people wearing wide leg black trousers with their mini uggs and it looks so cool but these trousers were not it they were so tight around my hips like just so tight and uncomfortable and then really really loose on the leg um, and very very long so just not the right fit for me at all but they feel nice quality they're thick um they're a nice black trouser very high waisted i picked mine up in an extra that might be why they're a bit tight i picked them up in an extra small and they were 29.99 but i just think the small would then be too big i'm still on the hunt for some wide leg black trousers and these just weren't it and i do find trousers and jeans from zara just so long anyway like i feel like they're literally made for like five foot ten model women but they just never ever fit me but i thought i'd give it a go and it fouled uh what else we got Oh, I picked up this tracksuit set, which I was actually so excited about. Like I said, just recently, I'm really on the cream neutral vibe, which is just not me. Like I said, I've always wore all black and I just feel uncomfortable in lighter colours. I always feel like they're not as flattering, but loved this tracksuit. I've been wanting to replace some of my tracksuits because I work from home, so I wear my tracksuits a lot. Love the, the trousers of these. They're like elasticated waist, really soft and thick. They've got pockets and they just go down into... A wide leg i'm debating keeping the trousers but i did want it for the matching top but i don't like the matching top because i didn't realize on the website they're three quarter length sleeves and if this wasn't three quarter length sleeves love this set like would definitely be keeping it and if you don't mind that sleeve then definitely recommend this but i just hate three quarter length sleeves i find them so uncomfortable like so annoying they're just like on your elbow i don't find them flattering like 
I just do not like these sleeves, which is such a shame because the actual jumper itself is just a plain nude kind of sweater, jumper, nice and oversized, really soft. I think these sets are really put together for lounging around in, but also if you do work from home, so maybe you're popping out at lunchtime and like meeting someone for lunch, love these kinds of sets because you just look really put together. Um, but yeah, I just, the sleeves wind me up. Like, I just think that's horrible. I just don't like the sleeve. So I'm sort of debating keeping the trousers, but I wanted them to wear as a pair. So I might just send it all back. Um, pick the top in a small, I wouldn't say they were too oversized also by the way, depending on how big you like your tracksuits. It's more of just like a looser fit and then the trousers were £22.99. But yeah, I think I'm going to return them just because this sleeve just pisses me off. But if you don't mind three quarter length, then definitely check these sets out because I think they look really nice for like lounging and also just popping out and stuff. And the last thing we have, again, I said I was on this cream vibe um again i saw on tiktok i feel like i get most of my inspo now from tiktok like the quick um what i wear in a what i wear in a day outfit of the day videos and stuff and i saw a girl wear like cream loose trousers with again the mini uggs that i keep talking about um and i loved it so i picked up kind of what i thought was similar on zara these were called the masculine trousers i think they're high waisted and they're just like really long um and not too wide leg but these were huge like i know this was be masculine trousers but they were huge on me um like oversized to the max and i picked this up in extra small as well and they were 49.99 i don't think they were 49.99 anyway like i don't know if you're going to be able to see but the material is just not the nicest that's what i mean about zara i feel like they're so confusing like some of their stuff i'm like this is amazing quality and like the price is okay and then you get something like this which is expensive and the quality just doesn't feel it um yes yeah, so there's not a triangle of this because they were literally just it just looked like i was wearing a blanket wrapped around me or something it was just yeah these are oversized to the max so i don't really recommend these cream trousers so i'm still again on the look for some nice kind of loose wide leg cream um trousers and that was everything that i picked up from zara i feel like it was a really good haul like i literally love so much of it and yeah hopefully you found it helpful that i sort of already tried on the product so i know which ones i'm keeping and what i don't recommend and stuff but yeah very excited about this haul i thought i was going to save a little bit of money because i thought i was going to return um the knitted jumpers but i ended up keeping them because i just love them so much like the cream ones i am obsessed with but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely check out zara if you're looking for some new like autumn winter bits they do really have some good pieces on there you just have to kind of find the good ones um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you did so i know to do more zara hauls i will of course link everything that i showed in this video in the description box below if you're interested and you wanted to check out some of the items um, but yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!